Hi, for this video, what I want to do is show you how to find the cardinality using a Venn diagram. All of the numbers that are given are talking about the cardinality of the given region. The cardinality is just a fancy name for the number in that specific region. So for example, there are 10 values or elements in the set that show up in set A, but neither set B or C. So there's eight total regions when you have three sets. Region one is only in A, region two is in A and B but not C, region three is only in B, region four is in A and C but not B, region five is all three sets, region six is just B and C but not A, region seven is only in C but not the other two sets, and then Region eight is not in any of the sets. So I have some given cardinalities that we wanna find for the different ones listed out. I don't cover every single possibility that could happen because there's a lot of different possibilities, but I did try to give several different examples. So the first one that we're looking for is we're looking for the total number in set C. So that means any value that shows up inside of set C. So basically what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to take and add all of the numbers that show up in set C. So I'm going to take 2 plus 4 plus 7 plus 9. And then all I have to do is add those together. So it doesn't matter how you add them but you would end up with a total of 22 because two plus four is six, six plus seven is 13, 13 plus nine gives us a total of 22. So when you see the N in front of a set, it's just saying the total number. Moving into the next one, this time remember that this symbol is read as and, and means that it has to be in both of them. So I'm looking for the number in A and B. So I'm looking to see where does circle A overlap with circle B. So I can see that I've got three in this region and four in this region. So I would add the three plus the four to give me a total of seven in both A and B. The next question is different because this time it's asking us for the number in A or B. So that means it could be in either A or B. It doesn't have to be in both. With and, it has to be in both at the same time. With or, it only has to be somewhere inside of this circle here, so circle A, or somewhere inside of circle B. So for this one, we're going to take every number that shows up inside of there. So the 10, 3, 2, 2, 4, and 7. And we're going to add those together. So I would have 10 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 7. So then we would add these together. So 10 plus 3 is 13. Then we would have 15, 17, 21. And we have a total of 28 that fall inside of set A or set B. Okay, a couple more. For this one, this symbol right here may be different in your textbook. This is read as not in set B. And some textbooks use tilde B and some textbooks use B prime. So depending upon the notation in your text, the text I'm currently using uses B to the C power. It's basically the complement of set B, so it's not in set B. So for this one, we're looking for all values that are in A and C, but not B. So A and C overlap here in this region. Okay. But we want to eliminate this part right here because we don't want anything from set B in there. So the value that falls in there is 2. So there are two items that fall in A and C, but not B. Okay. And then the last one that I'm looking for is for this one, it's saying the number that is not in A, not in B, but it is in C. So this is the only C region. So 9 would be the total answer. 
okay? I do have an example for you to try. So there's three of them. If you wanna pause the video, try these answers based on this Venn diagram. I did change the numbers. So you're gonna find the number just in set B, the number in B and C, and the numbers in A and B, but not C. So go ahead and pause the video, and then when you're ready, hit resume, and I will go over all the answers to make sure that you did it correct. It's always important to try it on your own to make sure you understand uh, before you try to do it on your own later, okay? All right, so I think you've taken the time to pause the video and try these on your own, so let's make sure that you did it correct. For the number in B, we are looking for this entire circle here. So any value that shows up inside of B, we're going to add together. So I would have 4 plus 5 plus 1 plus 3. And so we would add those together. 4 plus 5 is 9, plus 1 gives us 10, plus 3 gives me 13. So there are a total of 13 elements in set B. For the next one, we're looking for B and C. So we're looking where B and C overlap. So we're looking at this region right here. There's no other restrictions, so we would just do one plus three, and that gives us a total of four elements that fall in both B and C. And then the last one that we have is we're looking for the overlap of A and B but we're eliminating the part that falls in C, so we're just looking at the four. So with this, hopefully it helped you to clear up the confusion of trying to find the cardinality. A lot of times things sound more complicated than they really are. Just remember cardinality, or anytime you see the N in front of this, it's just saying, how many fall in there? What is the number in that set? As always, Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics that you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.